We also have a five Gosh. bomb from our boy Kyle. He says apparently Hallmark is working on a holiday movie called Holiday Touchdown, a Chiefs love Didn't story. Didn't the Chiefs do this last year with a fake one? I don't Have know. I, just, I, I think you dreamed that. I don't remember. Did I live in some kind of alternate universe? Is this like one of those like things, you know, about does Chick-fil-A have a C or a K at the end of the name? Mike, yes. I think that's a Mandela effect. And I also don't think that's the same thing. I think you're just dreaming. Um, I don't think there was. That but they this is an actual thing. For, I actually saw the story today. Hallmark's going to do Hallmark's a freaking chief story. Card factory's right there in KC. We were right next to it. Remember when we went down know. there for Christmas? But let me tell you. They had a little ice skating rink set up. Look, let me tell you. The fact that it's a holiday movie. that they, they So f- when I read it, it did not say anything about a holiday movie. It just said a Chiefs love story. Okay. And I, here's what I actually said to a coworker of mine today after I read this. I was like, if it's a Christmas movie, I'll support it. Because Hallmark, Lifetime, they make the cringiest awful it's cheesiest christmas the movies christmas movies and i love watch. the hell out of them i love all of them so if they make it a christmas movie mike i'm all for the cringe otherwise hey. it's gonna suck kevin cable says why doesn't hallmark make a holiday movie called hot love the bill belichick love story i think the reason why they won't do it is because it's a little taboo i think that there's only one website the hub where you'd be allowed to have christmas at grandpa's house the love story. <laughs> I don't think it would work for Hallmark. It's a little weird. Dude, I'm down <laughs> if they get the actual, if they play themselves in the movie. <laughs> that would be so funny. Can you imagine how bad of an actor Belichick is? Oh, she said, I'm yeah. tired of this grandpa. He said, I don't give a damn. Ah, 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 ah. Why'd you do that to me? And everybody else watching. Are they going to bring back Jarek McKinnon, Mike? That's the question. That's the million-dollar question. Yeah, man. So I'll just bring this up. We'll, we'll start it off with this. PFF come out with a thing today, and they rank the Chiefs running backs at the middle of the pack. It says Kansas City now has just two running backs locked in for 2024. Who is behind them? So we know who the two running backs are. It's Pacheco and Clyde. It says the football analytics site PFF has released its ranking of the NFL's best running back squads. The Chiefs fall in the middle, number 18. Pacheco is the king of consistency, earning rushing grades of 74 and 80 in the past two seasons. He also recorded a yards per carry average of 4.5 in each of the past two seasons with 40 explosive runs, 20 in both years. Kansas City still has Clyde edwards helaire behind him, but we don't know much after that so that is the sentiment steve everybody's been talking about the running back room is re-examined enough is the Eric prince enough is keontae ingram enough nobody knows and so this has been like this uh this debacle and this debate of like is it time to go out and re-sign jarek mckinnon it's been long enough i don't think so i don't think it's necessary like when you get past the first two running backs yeah, it gets a little questionable on the depth purpose, right? Because they're, but they're only going to take three, four running backs. We'll say four at most. They yeah. randomly took four when they had Ronald Jones Jr. And guess what? He took two snaps all season long. But it's nice to have them there in case of injury. Pacheco runs like a madman. So if he were to get hurt, that's one thing. Clyde has not proved that he can stay healthy a whole year very often. So I get it. But I don't think Jarrett McKinnon necessarily has to be the guy to go get. Uh, if they do decide to sign one, I'm good with them re-signing Jarrett McKinnon. Don't get that twisted. But I don't think they have to. I think that Clyde is going to take the role of third down, change of pace, receiving back. That's what he was meant to do from day one. And he's never been used that way. I think Clyde's going to flourish this year in that role that Jarrett McKinnon's been in because he's a good receiving back. I totally agree. Let us know in the chat. Like, What do you guys think? Do you think it's... Clyde's job to lose on McKinnon, or would you like to see McKinnon back, Steve? I know a lot of people are asking who's out there. These are who's available. Damian Harris, Cam Akers, Matt Breida, Kareem Hunt still out there, Latavius Murray. Even though I thought the other day I seen somebody thinking about signing Murray, but I wasn't for sure. Yeah, he's McKinnon, gotta be like forty by now, right? Yeah, he's thirty four point four. He's got his age there. And then Marlon oh. Mack. The Chiefs <laughs> have actually talked to, about signing Marlon Mack at one point in time. Look, Clyde's on the list. He signed last year. You mean Jarek yeah, McKinnon? Jarek, I'm sorry. Uh, he had signed and played for super, super cheap. But people are talking. He's starting to gain traction. And I alluded to it in the title. Should we sign him or do we let him fall into our biggest rival? Because 
he's picking up steam here. The Raiders say they must consider signing Jarek McKinnon. If the Raiders want to be a, want to have a bit more veteran depth, they must consider. Jarek McKinnon said Christopher Knox of Bleacher Report. They write about the Raiders. They write about this. They said, look, he makes plenty of sense. Additionally, McKinnon would bring experience in the AFC West and a little insight into the rival. So one is just a uh, one's just somebody writing, right? It's not a rumor. But when it comes up on the second page and Super Bowl winning running back linked to the Raiders as a possible signing, and they go on to say the same thing at the bottom, signing McKinnon purely for information on his former team seems a lot like a move of the Patriots past during Belichick's regime, but it could be useful. The thing about it is everybody on that list you just brought up was less than $2 million for a year. And it depends on what the Chiefs want to do. If they want more of the same, they want the proven guy, you could get Jarek McKinnon, you have a little bit of a comfort, like a, a, a security blanket. Is it more of a Brett Veach move to do that, or is it to go out and get Cam Akers, who's 25, who was supposed to be an absolute monster and just hasn't been able to stay healthy? That's true. The Cowboys are looking at him. Uh, the Eagles are interested in him. So he's got some pursuers out there, but I've noticed he's not. He's posting videos on Instagram. He's working out. Right. Yeah. But he's not, you know, he's not committing anywhere. So I wonder if he's waiting around for a little Brett Veach phone call. Uh, Chris716 here says, who's the biggest rival for the Chiefs? Uh, I'm assuming if you just mean just normal rival, Raiders, obviously. If you're meaning like biggest rival for trying to take over the AFC, I think you have to go Ravens. Buffalo's got a down year this year coming, I think. Uh, the Bengals are the Bungles. What do you think? The Bengals. The Bengals try so hard to be relevant, and they suck. Yeah. Did you see Joe Burrow's? The back was blown out. Somebody said, why in the world is he walking <laughs> around with his back out like that? I, I was like, somebody needs to check in. Have you guys checked in on your Bengals friends? I haven't seen them today since that photo's dropped. You just be knocking on their door, Mike. and Go away, Peyton. Damn it. Man. That's all Bengals fans right now. 100%. O over, over a little bit of back showing. Over they see his back, back, Mike. That's weird. Imagine if he dropped a cleavage pick. You know, like everybody wants to be the Chiefs' biggest rival because you want to be relevant, right? Yeah. So I think everybody wants to claim it. We ain't even played the freaking Commanders, and they're out here saying that the Chiefs their biggest rival. Who? What? They're just mad because the Chiefs haven't had to change their name yet. They said, <laughs> they're like, how did you all escape the, the mob with the pitchforks? Steve, because they're too busy chasing Butker. Leave us alone. <laughs> Butker's the distraction. They're like, hey, go out and tell women to make sandwiches again, Butker. We got to keep said, our name. Butker, get that sandwich comment working. Go out there and double down on that. Iron Price says, Will of Death never lies. Become a member. If you are a member, on the members only live stream, we give away stuff. This, this coming members only live stream will be probably the second Thursday of July. We usually do first Thursday, but I think that's the fourth. So we're going to hold off, but, uh, we're giving away a signed Dante hall Jersey, uh, customized with the all chiefed up. Dante did a, did a solid, you get a certificate of authenticity with it. And, uh, we're giving that away. So, I mean, if you're a member, you're there. I mean, you're going to get a chance to win that bad boy. We got a five bomb from our boy Perry. He says, tuning in late. Better late than never, Perry. We appreciate you being here. He says, after Kelsey shenanigans in London, was hoping I'd catch y'all wearing top hats with ACU logos on them. Let's keep the dream alive, baby. Let's go, Perry. If I had a top hat, I'd wear it. You don't have one. Mike better not pull out the Abraham Lincoln right now. There's no way. What? Why? Why in the hell do you have an Abraham Lincoln hat? Four scores and seven years ago, <laughs> Travis Kelsey did go to Europe, and he did bangeth Taylor Swift. <laughs> blue chew or no blue chew? He does not needeth blue chew. Mike, but they say it'll up your performance by like 45%. He's trying to secure the bill. He's trying to secure the bag. He's got a billion dollars riding on this. She secured his bag. He did not need to secure <laughs> the bag. Blue chew out.
Cause I'm saying that